Okay, I'm back. It's like five minutes later. Get my light on there. Um, all I had to do was squirt this with some more kerosene. Um, I didn't really, I didn't move this, this screw at all. I just tightened it up so this tab right here doesn't move back and forth. I didn't, I didn't pull it out or, or anything. I tried very, to do very little. I just tightened it up because it was loose and this tab moved back and forth. Uh, I sp sprayed this with kerosene. I squirted in here some kerosene. Right now the feed dogs are up. I waited like two or three minutes. I was looking at it and thinking, God, I hope I... I'm not going to spend half the day on this because I don't have time. I want to finish the other pink, the pink Espera. Um, here is... So, I'll show you. That's, and it's literally, that's all I did was I put some more kerosene in there. So, I'll probably oil it a little bit. Um, I'm going to oil it after this. Uh, but it, I, I sat there and looked at it and I turned it and I thought, oh, I'll try it again. So feed dogs are engaged. Feed dogs are down. You can see how this swings. All right. So now I want to bring the feed dogs back up. So now when I engage the hand wheel, you're going to, the pins down. And you're gonna see you're gonna see this pop the pin pop right into the um that hole there. You're gonna hear a click. That's what you're looking for. So literally it's um and then I wanted to clarify before when I said I heated things up before, I did not you do not want to heat this up because it's plastic, you'll ruin it. Um you wanna heat this up and I was very, very careful to make sure that this doesn't didn't get hot because you don't want to break this um so I wanted to clarify that because I didn't want anyone to do get this too hot and then break it and then not be able to drop their feed dogs at all or have to look for that part and figure out how to get that on there so um so next I'll just uh make sure this has got oil in it um and probably I'll check like <laughs> make sure it's still working but so they're down Feed dogs are down. Now I want to re-engage the feed dogs. The pin should pop down. And you can see you have to move the hand wheel to get the pin to drop in that hole. And you're going to... Here here we go. Watch. There you go. So, most of the time it's like other... You know, it's like people say, you know, all you have to do is just patience. Clean it out. Oil it. Um, with that pink Espera... I mean, it was days and days and day it was like three days. And on the third day, I would spent like four hours and I was looking at it and thinking like, what is the, and that's why I pulled these other two, that machine out and this machine out, um, to see what the difference was. And then, uh, I looked at this up here and on the Espra, this, this was pulled out the slot. You could see most of the slot. And when I pushed that in and tightened it. I did tighten this one because it was, when I showed you in the last video, it was moving back and forth. Um, so I just tightened it. I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, move this back or forth. I tightened the screw. So, because it was loose and I didn't want it to end up eventually like the Espera and then not have the feed dogs work. So, i am just disengage the feed dogs. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done free motion quilting. <laughs> I want to I want to fix a pair of pants. I need my feed dogs. Drop that back in. I think it went in. Yeah, cuz it was so close. Hold on. There we go. It, if it's close enough, it should go right in there. So then I'll drop it. I want to fix some jeans. There you go. I hope this helps somebody.